What happens if I can go sword and tits bomb? Ow! Well, that worked. What's going on? What's up, guys? That's 2J here with some more rule. Let's play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we made it here to Dragon Roost Island. With my favorite song in the game. Well, not really my favorite song, but one of my favorite songs. Um, and in this episode, we're going to um, go talk to the Rujo tribe and Rito. Yeah. Whatever. Go! Ryan? Ryan, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say. You travel far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Ryan. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I told my people about you, and all us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our... What? Okay. It's so then. I'll fly ahead and let everyone know that you're coming. Go inside, Ryan. Or come inside, Nor. Oh, I'll be waiting. Alright, so that was Quill, if you actually remember him from, um, Outset. He was actually the one who, um, pushed the idea for us to stow away on Tetra's ship. Uh, and, yeah, down there is where we got the song thing just now. I want to miss you, Epic Dragon Roost song. Yeah. So just. What's in here? Nothing really. Okay, let's go inside. Ooh, so this is where the Rito live. Pretty nifty. Well, have you discovered a cause of Grateful Lou's anger? Ah, so you are Ryan, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A, tr a, a troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there, anything, if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do any, everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched on top of the mountain? As you can see, we of the Ruto tribe, or Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the great by the grace of the sky spirit Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Volu has grown violent and unpredictable. I hate when that happens. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the flightless who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Volu on Dragonist. We, they will remain wingless. Shut up, phone. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As chieftain of the Ruto, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for assistance until it's done. Will you do so? Yeah, of course. Chieftain, what to down? What do you think of consulting Ryan with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Ryan is a gallant young lad. What did you call me? I'm not a girl. I can. Uh, I feel certain that Prince Kamali will open his heart to him, speak freely of his worries and her fears and worries. What am I, his babysitter? That's maybe. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the ace under his wings. <laughs> Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Hell no. I thank you. I just said no! We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may um, better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give you, or I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Will you find her and take it? Why don't you give it to him? Come on, you're his dad. 
I'm counting on you. Lazy. Oh, <gasps> what do you want? You're right. Take this. I take this with you. Who knows? It might be coming handy. Sweet! We got the delivery bag. Now we can be the epic postman. Wow. Check the references. Oh well. <laughs> That's what I get for opening after him. You should find Mithy on one of the upper rooms. <sighs> In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. That's the last time we ever saw Quill. No, we gotta go up here and go see this medley person of interest and whatnot. Let's see, she should be... I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's right here. Wow, you really do have blue clothes and a picture of crawfish on them. You're Ryan, right? Oh, me? I'm the attendant to the great style sky spirit, Baloo. My name is Mendley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not intended quite yet. I'm actually still starting to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, take this from the chief. Or, yeah, from the chieftain. Ryan, he wants you to give this directly to uh, Prince Kamali. And we get a letter. Woo! Father's letter. What is this, Harry Potter? Since you just delivered or received a fine delivery bag, whatever. Stop giving me text to read! The room uh, way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamale's room. You have to. <coughs> God dang it. When you meet Prince Kamale, please don't be offended by his manner. Oh, I'm offended now. He has no bad attention, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Ryan. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon's Cavern later? I was playing everything then. Oh, you want to get it on, eh? What are you doing? I don't think I've ever seen two people over there at once. You wouldn't remember this guy, because he's part of a piece of heart quest to do. And over there is where we're actually going to... You know, forget Kamali. We're going to do this right now. Let's talk to you. Yes, I'm not reading your text because I get tired. Yep. Alright, so we got to sort 10 letters. So let's see. Hands eye coordination. Go! So yeah, all you basically do is, you know, just shoot these in the places that they gotta go. Like so. <laughs> Gotta rush. Uh. Let's see if I can get 25. Oh god dang, I missed. Do oh, I missed? Ugh. Okay, so. Uh. 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 Oh yeah, last second. 25 layers, great. Yes, whatever. Cool. So let's see if I can do it again. Ready for work? You already understand? Yep. Okay, so I got sort, sort 20. I can do that. The key to this is to pay attention to the letter and just focus on where it is at. I don't know why. My hands eye coordination is freaking screwed up on this. Jeez, I guess I'm rushing. Don't pay attention to the time or anything because otherwise you'll get stressed out and be like, ah! Why is my. I swear it's not just my LP's curse or whatever. I do that like. All the time. Now it's over here. Jeez, my second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Epic dynamics are fun. Let's see. Yes, I come for work. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's just do this and this and this and this and this and this. Oh, I think that was actually helping me concentrate. Over here, 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 over here. God dang it. Oh, I missed. God dang it. Oh. Do I really missed. 24 letters. That time I was actually just kind of looking around the whole screen, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I like to do some stuff. And I'm not doing this just for the fun of it, this actually leads to a piece of heart, which I'd rather get now. Jeez! Oh. <laughs> That's what I get for being trigger happy. 
Ah. God. Oh, yeah, I, I swear I don't have the crappiest hands eye coordination ever. This is honestly how I do it, like every day. Not every day. Jeez. Do I not know where all these stuff are? Oh! Almost had that. Okay, let's try it one more time. Yeah, gotta get it anyways. Why do I suck so. What the? Okay. It's like the one time where I just. Yeah. Let's see. I can't even find commentary to do because I'm just trying to focus on this. Let's see. This is the most interesting part in the whole entire Let's Play. This is more intense than the final battle. So that part is that's actually true. Yes! 26. Even he freaks out. Yes, I have amazing coordination. Jeez. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so. I believe if we leave and then we just come back. Um, probably should go talk to Kamali or something. But no, screw it, we're getting a piece of heart. It's more important. The fate of the world can suck it. I'm getting money. Okay, yeah, here we go. I wish I was tall enough to actually get my head through there. Blue clothes. Any crawfish design? Pardon me for asking, but you're right, aren't you? Yes. Oh, I knew it! You're the legend among the part-timers here. I really admire you, man. Wow, you need to get a life. Okay, so let's just go ahead and show him my amazing, not truly hands-eye coordination. Okay, so let's see. Ah! Jeez. God dang it. I have the best hands-eye coordination ever! Jeez. Okay, really? God dang it. Huh. Last second. Oh my gosh! 25 lives! Amazing, man! I'm impressed! Seriously, man! I gotta tell my mom about this and stuff. Yeah, a letter. <laughs> it's so sad you can almost cry. Oh, wait. Let me get it now. No! Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm actually going to end it off um, right now as I deliver the letter. This is our. This is what we gotta get in my mind. This is what we gotta put in the note. Or in the um, post box. So, next time, ow. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're going to go talk to Prince Kamali and do stuff with the thing and the who and the whatnot. So, take my letter. <laughs> it's just like the post box in Majora's Mask. Yep, so I will see you all next time. Run like run! The fate of Dragon's Island depends upon it. Inside. <laughs>